Welcome to my channel. If you're new here then hi, my name's Cohen. Thank you ever so much for finding me. If you can tell by the title of this video then I'm going to be doing a haul video. Um, it's been my birthday this month so I've accumulated so much stuff and I thought why not put it in a haul and show you what I have got. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. I've got lots of things from Topshop, from Primark, from Dior. Um, so yeah, the first thing that I um, picked up was from Topshop. Um, I picked up these trousers and I've been seeing them pretty much everywhere actually. They're the leopard print um, wide leg trousers and I'm obsessed with wide leg trousers. I only just got a black pair and I don't know, oh, guys, I've been missing out. Um, but yeah, I wore these on my birthday meal and I love these. I got them in a size 10. They were only uh, £15 in the sale um, and yeah, they're this silk, uh, they've got like a silk finish, um, true to size. Um, I'm five foot three and they come up perfectly. They don't drag on the floor, so I didn't have to get them taken up, which I was so glad about. I paired these with a black bardo sort of top and some black heels because they're so bold that I didn't really want to go extra and I wore a red lip and I really did like this outfit. So I'm definitely gonna be getting some more of these. I've seen so many items on ASOS. They've got um, sort of a new in section, which is all filled with prints. And I've seen the sort of uh, leopard print slip dresses they've got the uh, leopard print bardo tops and I really do like the trend so I think I will definitely be picking up a few more um, as I said these are in the sale so I'm not sure if I'll be able to link them uh, but I do know that Topshop I've got a very similar pair um, the only difference is they've got sort of a red stripe running down the side of them but they are still cute um, but I'm sure you can pick these up from anywhere but I will link these or some similar ones down below Keeping on track with trousers, I picked up a couple of tailored trousers for work and also for sort of being smart, casual. Sometimes I like that look. Um, but really what attracted me the most to this these trousers were the colour. I'm obsessed. This colour is just, yes, it's a bit of me. Like, it's camel, like beige, I'm all for it. At work I have to wear white shirts, so I thought this would just be it would really complement the colours. Um, so they're just slim fit, they're ankle grazers as well and I thought that these would be really nice just paired up with um, some loafers for work or some black court shoes um, or if you just wanted to throw on like a t-shirt just like this one with these tucked in or um, I would say maybe um, a, like a branded t-shirt you know uh, the ones that just got like the name uh, just a name thing on them um, with some of these I think it'd look really cool. Um, so I got those from Dorothy Perkins they're only £20 but I did pick some up from Primark actually um, I think this is what got me onto them um, just some plain black ones very very similar slimline um, ankle grazers but these were actually only £5 so I picked them up in a size 10 you can definitely definitely tell the difference though between the Primark ones and the Dorothy Perkin ones because the material is so soft on the camel ones and these ones not so much but for five pounds I, I really don't think you can go wrong with them so from Topshop I picked up a oversized jumper and the reason I picked this up is because I know I can't wear it now because in the UK it is beyond hot like it's just ridiculous you cannot wear a jumper but I thought when it gets a little bit cooler I like an oversized jumper just to chuck on with some leggings or to chuck on when I come out of the gym or something so I picked up this Chicago Bulls um, jumper hope you can see that there again this was in the sale guys it was only 10 pounds so i'm hoping that they still have it if not i'll try and link something similar um but yeah i've tried this on once i've not been out in it yet but i do like it i'm a size 10 um and i picked this up in a medium i do wish i would have picked it up in a large because although it's oversized it's not as oversized as i want it to be if that makes any sense at all lastly for clothing um i picked this white dress up this white linen dress dress and this is from ASOS um, so it's sort of a bardo style dress um, it's got the balloon sleeves that hang off the shoulder very comfortable as you can see here they've got um, it's elasticated so it fits really nicely um, and if you follow me on Instagram you'll actually see the picture of me wearing it um, on my birthday day 
birthday day um and yeah the only one thing that i would say about this is that it's very see-through <laughs> so you're definitely going to need to wear nude underwear with it um there's not a lining underneath at all you can see straight through it um luckily enough i was i had the right <laughs> underwear to wear with it on the day um but i love it it was only 15 pounds super inexpensive and i think this is perfect for the weather at the moment it's very light you can take it on holiday if you want you can sort of dress it down i wore some chunky black espadrilles with it um, and a black cross crossbody bag um, but you could also pair it up with some heels if you wanted and try and dress it up if you're going maybe for some cocktails or something I think this would be nice I really really want to pick it up in in different colors I'm not sure if they have it but I'm definitely gonna have a look I picked up quite a few shoes so <laughs> I went to Primark and I only went to take an item back and I ended up buying the whole store I don't know why this always happens to me uh, but yeah I ended up buying, uh, buying a couple of shoes from there this pair I picked up were these black mules and I've been seeing these everywhere however I wanted to just buy some straight away online but I have wide feet but not wide enough to fit into wide fit and I don't know if that made any sense so I know that I'm going to have to go into store and try some on, which I did. Um, and I'm glad that I did because usually I'm a size 5 and I had to pick these up in a size 6. They're very comfortable. Um, like I say, the black faux way and they've got this little bow detail there, which is really cute. As you can see, I've been wearing these a lot. They're just so convenient just to chuck on uh, with anything. So, yeah, love these. I picked up some black loafers. And the reason why I picked these up is because I'm pretty much obsessed with the Todds. Um, I love the blush pink ones uh, that have come out. I've seen quite a few people with them. And they are a little bit expensive. And the reason why I say that is because me and shoes just don't get along. I scuff them so much. I will have a pair of shoes and I'll ruin them within a week. So I just picked these ones up instead. They're very similar in style though with the sort of buckle along here and the uh, faux sway. Um, suede sorry uh, I got these in a size 5 because they are true to size and that is my normal size and both of these shoes by the way were £8 so I think it's a bit of a bargain and I think I picked these up really to go with the tailored trousers um, I've not really got that many flat pairs of shoes so I thought I would pick a couple of pairs up from Primark and then I went on to ASOS of course um, and I picked up some trainers let me explain because I know these are going to be Marmite. Um, I love the uh, Balenciaga sock trainer trend when it came out. Oh god, I love them and I really, really want to get some. But I really wasn't sure if it were going to fit my style because they are, like I said, very Marmite and I, I wasn't sure. So I picked some similar ones up uh, from ASOS and they look like this. So I'm not doing them much justice, I'm sure, <laughs> when you see um, them on the website that they, they'll they look a little bit better than this. So the Balenciagas are a little bit higher than, than these ones. These are more ankle, um, but they are similar in style. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd pick some of these up, see if they fit my style, see if I'm going to get the wear out of them. And I actually have already worn these, as you can see. I wore these um, on my birthday with some mom jeans and a black crop. Uh, and I really liked it. It's a... It's a it's definitely a vibe, so I think I'm going to have to pick the Balenciagas up, um, especially with it coming into autumn as well. I think that I'll get a lot of use out of them. Um, if you do want to pick these up, though, from ASOS, um, they have a bunch of colours. They have the nude, they have beige. I'm not sure if they have white, but then obviously they have these ones. So, And they're inexpensive again. I think they're only about £25. So, yeah, I will link them down below. The last pair of shoes that I picked up from ASOS, but they are from Public Desire on ASOS, they are these sock boots. So I've got a couple of sock boots already, however, uh, mine are more ankle boots than anything. So I wanted some, again, a little bit higher because I wanted to wear them with jumper dresses and oversized t-shirts when it comes up into autumn because, again, I can't wear sock boots. It's just way too hot to be wearing them. Um, so these are sort of a scuba material. I'm obsessed with them. have got this sort of gunmetal grey um zip down the middle with a little ring there a little circle ring um and yeah i love them guys i mean can we just take a second to just appreciate the point here if you don't like pointed shoes then i mean these you're gonna hate these let's be honest but i'm a size five and these look huge i'm pretty sure you could probably take somebody's eye out <laughs> with these um but i love them either way and i got these in a size five I also picked up some bags because 
I mean, why not? I'm, I'm obsessed with bags, so I thought I would pick some up. And I've been after a white bag for the longest time. I've always been a bit worried about getting one because I know what I'm like if I take it out on a night out. It's definitely not going to come back white. But I took the plunge anyway. Um, I've got this one from Topshop. Um, it was £15. Um, and it's just the cutest thing ever. Like, can we just take a second? I mean it's so cute i am absolutely obsessed with the studs as well look at these little silver studs they've got like the bigger ones and then the smaller ones here and what i like about this bag is even though it's really nice it's actually accessible because when you get a nice bag it the function the functionality of it is just it, it's just ridiculous however this one just literally slides around and you're in which is good it's got two compartments as well to split either side and i've put my iphone 8 plus in there and it fits perfectly um it's got this chunky silver chain on it so you can wear this crossbody like this or you can wear this over your shoulder whichever one you fancy doing um but yeah I just think it's a really really cute bag especially for like a little date night or cocktails or something like that and then the last bag that I picked up is I bought a bum bag I did it I've been seeing these everywhere especially with it being festival season as well everybody is wearing the bum bag and I just thought I'm gonna have to get it because mm, I mean I wasn't sure because they remind me of fanny packs and I'm not sure if these are the like reinvented fanny packs or not <laughs> But I, I do like them and I think they just look so good. I mean, I remember when they first uh, started to come out and it's very similar to this with the black quilted but the Gucci one um, that I see everybody wearing still today. Um, but I look, I wore these actually the other day, I wore this, sorry, the other day and I wore it with a jumpsuit and instead of putting the belt around the middle, I put this around the middle. Uh, but I've seen it paired with denim shorts, jump, um, play suits, um, just anything. And it is so, so convenient as well. Again, it fits my iPhone 8 Plus in there and it could probably fit a couple other things but yeah I really really like it definitely can see why people take these to festivals because it's you know you're not lugging anything around everything feels safe it's right next to you so I absolutely adore this one and then lastly I picked up a couple of beauty bits from from Dior but a couple of other things on elsewhere as well so here we are what I picked up was, firstly, I went in there for some perfume because I, I, I needed some. I mean, who, we always get perfume on our birthdays, come on. Um, so I picked up Misty or Blooming Bouquet. And what I absolutely love about this is that this is the new roller version. So you, they have the normal perfumes, but they've just uh, launched the roller uh, bottles in some... Um, diff some of the different ones. I think there's only selected. I think there's about three at the moment. Uh, so I got, I ended up getting this one. I thought it was just perfect for, oh my God, it smells amazing. <laughs> uh, I thought it was just perfect for just chucking in your bag whether you want to travel, if you are going to festivals or anything like that. I mean, look at the size of my bags. Like I'm not gonna be able to take a big perfume. So it is very, very convenient. And I just think it's the cutest thing ever. Like what? This is only 20 mil, by the way, uh, so it is a little bit smaller than the other bottles. However, the lady did say that because it is a rollerball, that you would get more use out of this than you would a spray perfume. I don't know if that's true, but she she sold me on it anyway. And then I also picked up, if I can find it, is the uh, Dior Addict lip glow so i remember when these launched actually um they had the lip scrub the uh and also the lip glow and i don't wear lip glosses at all i only wear liquid lipsticks or lipsticks i don't know why i've just never liked the feeling of lip gloss on my lips um so i've always wanted this lip balm especially for work and things like that uh, so i picked this one up and oh, can we just take a second how cute is that i hope you can see um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's got the slightest, slightest tint of pink. You can't really see it at all. It just looks clear. So you can see like a little bit of pink there, but I think this is just perfect for everyday use, uh, when you don't really want to wear a colour. This is good. 
picked up some eyeshadows from Barry M. I'm not a makeup artist, I will not be doing makeup tutorials, <laughs> uh, but I do want to sort of get into makeup a little bit more, um, I mean um, sort of eyeshadows, because I would love to create something nice on a night out. Uh, so I thought I'd pick this one up, it's very very generic, here we are. So it's very generic, very nude, so it's got some chocolates, chocolate colours in there, it's got nude, it's got a sort of shimmery shade in there, but I thought that would just be a perfect starter kit for for doing eyes. I mean, I can't really go too wrong. I say that. I hope not anyway. <laughs> and then the last, last thing that I picked up was from NYX. I've been after a new foundation for a while um, because when I went on holiday, I obviously tanned. The tan's not gone, so all my foundations don't match me anymore, so I needed a new one. Um, and she, the lady in the store recommended that I get the new HD um, foundation and it's great for my skin. And she tried it on and I actually do love it. I've got it on today if you, you want to see the finish. So it's kind of a dewy finish not a matte I've got quite dry skin so a matte finish probably wouldn't be the best for me um, and I love it it's sort of medium coverage it's not full but you can definitely build it up if you want to um, but yeah they've got they've got absolutely loads of foundations in there to be honest but this one was the best one for me and if you're wondering my shade it's golden honey guys I think we have come to the end of this haul. I feel like I've just been rambling for the longest time. Um, but I really, really hope that you enjoyed this haul. Thank you ever so much for coming back if you have. Um, if you did like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you did like me and you want to see more of me, then please subscribe to my channel. Um, but until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!